Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. So today's reading is titled, What are your superpowers? And we have three powers here for you today. So remember, you are a multidimensional being. So if you resonate with two or all of these piles, it's okay, okay? Just take what's for you. And I wanna talk about this briefly. Always take what resonates, okay? Because when you're listening to a reading, everything in that pile may not resonate with you, but it doesn't take away from what already resonates with you, okay? So focus on what's already resonating, not what doesn't resonate. Because as I always say, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something doesn't apply to you, then let it fly. I don't need you to comment it, to tell me that something didn't resonate with you. I don't need to see that, okay? Because I'm reading for so many different people, okay? So many different people from all over the world. So, so many people are gonna be tuning in. So there may be certain messages that you don't resonate with or you don't agree with, but that's okay, okay? <laughs> okay, so we have three piles here for you today. I'm gonna give you all a second to pick and then we're gonna go ahead and get started with pile number one. All righty, we're going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. So let's see your superpowers, pile number one. So pile number one, your superpowers are your beautiful mind. You help to reduce the stress and anxiety of others. You make them feel more secure in their lives. You would make an excellent mental health professional or medical professional. You help people put an end to mental suffering. You free others from the matrix because you have freed yourself, okay? So that is what I channeled. That's a channel message here, pile number one. I feel like you really have a beautiful mind. Like the way you see things is so abstract, but it's so beautiful. I feel like you also give really good advice and that's a superpower here. Like the things you tell people, like you have the ability to free people from mental bondage just by something you said. And even if they heard it from another person, it's just the way you phrased it, the way you said it, the, the word choice, the tone, the intonation, like everything, the way you say things. Okay. So another one of your, another one of your superpowers here, excuse me, I'm, I'm so excited. So I'm talking hella fast. So excuse me, <laughs> but another one of your superpowers here is your voice here. Okay. And I feel like you have done so much internal work. You are really old soul, pal number one. <laughs> I feel like you've done a lot of internal work here that you are able to help people end mental chatter. You help people befriend their inner critic here, okay? That is your superpower. So you really would like flourish in a mental health career because it's, it's reminding me of that pile number one, okay? So let's get into the cards. And I also have some other channel messages for you, pile number one, but we're gonna get into them as we go, okay? So pile number one, let's see, what are your superpowers? What are your superpowers here? So with the first card, we have the ninth house. So it says the philosophies and laws involved. So you may be somebody who, you have a lot of integrity here, pile number one, okay? And you you live life by philosophies, okay? Because I'm picking up Socrates. Also like J. Cole. You may really like J. Cole, pound number one, because you give off that Aquarius energy. But I love J. Cole so much, you know, not even just as a rapper, a musical artist, but just as a person, like the way he thinks, the way he sees reality. I feel like pound number one, you have a very beautiful and abstract way of seeing the world. And it, and it reminds me of J. Cole. So tell me what resonates here, okay? 
if you don't know who J. Cole is, you should look him up because you're going to love him, okay? Your superpower is also traveling places mentally. So you know how to travel places mentally. So some of you here could be really good writers. If you ever wanted to write a book, you would really write something like futuristic because I'm getting like a futuristic utopian type of energy pound number one. Take what resonates. But yeah, your philosophies, you know, the philosophies that you give other people, like the things that you, the remedies that you come up with, like is so unique and it really helps put things into perspective for people, pound number one. You could also be a life path seven here, okay? Let's get to the next card. So the next card we have is the fifth house, okay? So the fifth house deals with children. It's ruled by Leo. The ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius. So some of you could be fire signs here. Take what resonates. Um, with this fifth house energy, another one of your superpowers is fun. You know how to have fun with people. You know how to get people out of those mental prisons. You know, you know how to set people free, as I was saying. But also the fifth house deals with like, entertainment theater so you may be like if you're in college you may be a theater major or you may be interested in theater um or the arts here you're very good with art you know painting drawing take what resonates here but I'm getting like an artsy vibe okay so one of your superpowers is your art the way you make art here I feel like you heal others with your art here okay but also the fifth house deals with creativity. So another one of your superpowers here is your creativity, as we were just talking about with the art. But also the fifth house deals with children. So another one of your superpowers is the way you handle children. I feel like children naturally respect you because you just have this beautiful energy. And because kids like are so pure, they they see your energy and they respect you. OK, I don't really think you have a, a hard time with kids here. You may work in a daycare. You may be interested in starting your own daycare business. You know, take what resonates here. And some of you could be parents or you may be thinking about conceiving and you may just be worried, but you are a really good parent. You know, even if you don't have children, I feel like you've mothered or fathered so many different people, okay? And if you're non-binary and you don't resonate with a mother or father role, you've just been a parent to so many people, even if you don't have children, okay? You're very nurturing here. That's a superpower that you have. You bring other people together, okay? The next card we have is rest and ending. So like I was saying, like, you know how to help people bring an end to mental suffering. But I also feel like you help people get out of toxic situations and relationships with people who just don't deserve them. I feel like you help people see their worth, pal, number one. That's why I say, like, you would really make a really good psychologist here, really good psychiatrist. Anything in the mental health realm, anything dealing with cerebral things, the brain, like pound number one, that's your superpower here, okay? The next card we have is the air spirit. And we know that air deals with the mind, right? One thing I wanted to point out here, pile number, yeah, pile number one is there's a lot of nines here. Because on this card, the air spirit, 18, eight plus one is nine, okay? Then we have the nine of pentacles, and then we also have the nine of cups. So it's like nine, nine, nine. You may see nine, nine, nine a lot, or you're born on the ninth, or your life path number could be nine, but nine, nine, nine represents getting to the end of something, like almost being complete. So like I was saying, like you help people in cycles in their life. You help people break out of toxic energies and patterns okay you help people relinquish themselves from that because it, it can be hard you know it can be when you're stuck in toxic cycles and patterns it's easy to stay in that and I feel like you help people get over that also I feel like some of you may be um into human rights here you may help people get over substance abuse take what resonates because I'm picking up on like a social worker you know dealing with you maybe help people with sexual assault and um, domestic violence here okay you may help people with things like that, all right? I feel like also you help people speak kindly to themselves. Like you help people change their inner dialogue, okay? You may also be somebody who posts like spiritual messages or just uplifting and motivational messages here. That's a superpower. Your ability to cheer other people on and lift other people up gracefully, okay? So back to these nines. So we have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles is giving me that abundance, that abundant energy. And then we also have the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. So your superpower is like 
you come around and your people's wish fulfillment. And what I mean by that is like the things you say, the messages that you post, like people needed to hear that. I feel like sometimes things you say, you may bring people to tears without even trying to, but it's just because your words are so healing, like your words you know, heal old aches and wounds within people. I feel like you really help people heal their childhood wounds here, okay? You help people look at that in a different way. Even if you're not somebody who is a mental health professional, it's like you still have those qualifications, even if you didn't get the degree, because it's it's a part of your soul. I feel like, pal, number one, you've had past lives where you've learned to overcome mental challenges and stagnancy. So you're qualified to help other people, okay? With this nine of pentacles energy, you help people see their value, see their worth, okay? That's your superpower. I feel like you help people glow up, pal number one. <laughs> the next card we have is the knight of swords. So again, your words, the things that you say, you help people challenge their inner critic and change that dialogue to one that's more positive so that their experiences and reality is reflecting a positive experience rather than a negative one, okay? So that's your superpower. The next card we have is Sagittarius. So the ninth house is here too. So somebody is definitely a Sagittarius, but your superpower is that you help people free themselves. You help people get out of this rigid, restrictive energy. You help people be themselves and let their freak flag fly. Because I feel like, pound number one, you have this motto that life is too short to care what other people think about you. Life is too short to not be happy and not do the things you love, okay? So very much life coach vibes as well. We also have silent wisdom. So the wisdom that you give people is your superpower because like I said, I feel like you've cultivated this over the last few lifetimes that you had, if you believe in past lives here, okay? But if not, you're just somebody who, because I believe in past lives, but I know everybody else don't. So just saying, but back to the silent wisdom card, it's like you have a lot of wisdom within you and I feel like you share it when it needs to be shared. And I feel like, the reason why it's silent is because you don't really, you know, share it as much as you should, pound number one. I feel like you you may doubt it or think, well, nobody needs to hear this or nobody cares. Like, trust me, people need to hear those messages. People need what you have to say, honey, because it's medicine. Your voice is medicine. That's your superpower, okay? Your voice, your creativity, you know, the way that you can alchemize your pain into power, that is your superpower, okay? With this, with this card here, it's, it's a sphinx. So you may be connected to Egypt, all right? The next card we have is Capricorn. So your superpower is that, like, you help people acquire wealth in their life. Like, somebody here may be an accountant, or you may work at a bank here, or you may want to do something like that, but you're really good at helping people manage their money, all right? Capricorn can also deal with like authority. So I feel like one of your superpowers is like I said, you're a natural authority figure. Like kids just naturally respect you. So that's one of your superpowers here. But also Capricorn represents like, to me, like family. So the father. So some of you, like I said, are really good parents here. Okay, take what resonates. You're a really good parent. And you may feel like, how is that a superpower? Trust me, it is because a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't have good parents. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people aren't blessed with parents that are self-aware, that are emotionally intelligent, that are financially, mental, emotionally, and spiritually stable. Like, it's very rare. So for you to be doing that, power number one, if you have children, like, that is amazing. And you need to continue on regardless of who's critiquing your parenting style because it's amazing. I feel like, power number one, you may be the type of parent that gives your child freedom. So other parents may be like, what? Or you may like to do gentle parents in here. But whatever it is, just keep doing it because you're raising amazing, beautiful kids, okay? <laughs> beautiful, okay? So Leo is here again. The fifth house rules Leo. So you're a really good parent, all right? Also... Your superpower here is your creativity, but your strength. Because I feel like, pound number one, you have this beautiful mind, but I feel like you've learned from a lot of your experiences in life. I feel like your early life experiences were traumatic. I feel like you have to deal with other people putting you down, maybe even family. So I feel like now you have you've have a chosen family. You've cultivated a chosen family, you know, or you may be wanting to do something like that. So do that, pound number one because you have the power to bring people together naturally okay 
I sure superpower here. <clears throat> the next card that we have is community. So like I said, you bring people together here. You may work for your community or like I said, like social justice warrior activist. I was getting that like there's something that you do on behalf of your community here and it is a superpower. Like I think people think of heroes having to be supernatural in a way, but a superpower can literally just be you fighting on behalf of other people's rights because it that's that makes you a hero which makes it a superpower because a lot of people don't have this strength and this fierce energy okay that you have so it's a superpower we also have um this rainbow here there's a rainbow so some of you may be a part of the 2s lgbtqia plus community okay take what resonates if you're not it's okay the next card we have is illumination. So your superpower is that you help people uncover like hidden traumas through like what you're saying to them. So some of you could really be interested in like cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, I feel like you or hypnotherapy. I feel like you really help people get to the root of things. Like you help people discover like hidden subconscious beliefs. You help people unlock their subconscious mind and take out the beliefs that are no longer serving them, pound number one. I feel like you underestimate just how much your advice helps people. The next card we have is Aiku, and this is actually the death card. So yeah, you help people put an end to things that really aren't serving them, or some of you could be into funeral services here, take what resonates, um, or you may be like a death doula, or you want to do something like you may also, I think, pound number one, one of your superpowers here is being like a midwife or a doula. You may be interested in something like that with, with children here. Okay, take what resonates. The next card we have is abundance. So as I was saying earlier, I feel like these cards are just reiterating things I've already told you, pound number one. But it's like with this abundance card, your superpower is bringing forth abundance to yourself through your creative practices, but also sharing it with other people. I feel like you are somebody who's trying to work to create generational wealth if you haven't already. I feel like you put people on game and teach them how to manage their money. Yeah, you have money. <laughs> You can bring money towards you, pound number one. You're a money magnet, okay? The next card we have is the South Node. So like I said, on this card, it says, remember, and we know that the South Node in astrology deals with our past lives. So like I was mentioning past lives earlier. So I feel like these gifts you've acquired, pound number one, that have become your superpowers are things that come from your past life, okay? And you you help a lot of people. I feel like with the South Node energy, you help people bring, you help people transform from the past because a lot of people may not even realize that issues that they have now in this lifetime stem from a past life so I feel like you may pound number one you may also be like a past life regressionist or you may want to go into that because there's something that you could do with therapy you know you may even really do like guided meditations here that's what I'm getting like you you can get in people's head, but in a good way. You're not somebody who's trying to like, you know, mess with people, but I feel like you know how to remove negative thoughts from people. Like you kind of give off Reiki healer vibes, pound number one, but just with your words, I feel like you don't even have to touch people. It's just what you say, okay? There's the there's a power in your voice, okay? The last card we have is the outcast, but it's in reverse. So I feel like pound number one, you may have grown up in an environment where people didn't appreciate these gifts you had or they didn't understand them or they weren't even aware that you had them, okay? I feel like you've had to deal with a lot of people just misunderstanding you and projecting onto you, but despite that, you still found ways to speak life into yourself, pound number one, and I feel like that's your superpower, being able to hold your own perspective of yourself regardless of how other people see you, okay? that That's takes strength and you've overcome so much pound number one I'm so proud of you okay <clears throat> I'm so so proud of you I know that you know feeling like the outcast and feeling like the different one can feel isolating but you're gifted you know and it just comes with the territory you know much is required much is given all right but yeah, pound number one, those are your superpowers. Let's get into your channel messages because I did write some things down. So also we have holistic health here. Um, Dr. Sabi, something came up about TLC 
a TLC member left eye. She's a Gemini, so you may be a Gemini here. Um, you are one of a kind also. We have some music. Um, there's a song called Contradiction by Molly featuring Janae Iko. Also, I wanted to add that people have tried to outcast you, but you have created your own lane. So whatever that is, you created your own lane. Like your creativity is very original and it's very healing. Like you, pound number one, you remind me of somebody like Socrates, Plato, like somebody who's just, their philosophies will stick. You know, I'm also getting like Long Zhu, Lao Tzu. Like you have really good understandings of the world and how people operate here. And that is your superpower. So thank you, pound number one, for coming to this reading. Mwah. We're going to move on to pound number two. Okay. Okay, pound number two. What are your superpowers? So let's read this. <clears throat> excuse me your superpowers are meditation and manifestation even if you don't realize it you meditate and manifest naturally you have the gift of gab so you will be really good in real estate retail or having your own business you have a keen awareness and your discernment is never wrong it's how you know when people aren't truly for you you're also a great partner friend and family member you are the life of the party and you know how to make people excited about life too so pound number two your energy is like very chill I feel like you're you are nonchalant like you're not somebody that wants to be in drama that's concerned with drama I feel like you're somebody who would rather talk about like goals not people okay pound number two but also I feel like your energy is just calming so it may be days where you're just in your room watching tv and you're just silent that's a form of meditation I think people think meditation can only be sitting in like a lotus position and going like oh but there's other ways because meditation essentially is just quieting your mind so anything you do where you're quieting your mind and you're slowing down is a form of meditation listening to music is meditation washing dishes is meditation taking a walk and exercising and working out are forms of meditation because you're quiet while doing it you know, even cooking can be a form of a meditation, okay? You also manifest really easily. I feel like because it's easy for you to, when you manifest something, you don't really focus on it, how it's going to get there. You just let it be. And because you will naturally let things be, things come to you. You know how to receive, okay? I feel like you have a lot of protection pound number two. You have a lot of protection, okay? I just wanted to say that if you ever think you don't, because I feel like you're in a space right now, like, I'm hearing this. This is what I'm hearing about number two. Spirit is putting you where people can see you, but they cannot touch you, okay? Or whoever that is. Someone is finding love, okay? <laughs> I feel like, pound number two, you are entering a new chapter in your life, okay? You're entering a new cycle, a beautiful one, okay? But that was the channel message, and we're going to get into the other channel messages at the end of the reading, but... For now, let's get into the cards. <clears throat> Goodness, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me drink this tea. Sometimes I think I have to like do some um, vocal warmers before I do readings because sometimes my voice can get out because it's so soft. So like me talking a lot, <laughs> I have to drink tea. But anyways, some of you may like to drink tea here, okay? You like your organic teas. Let's get into these cards. So the first card that we have here is the fire spirit. So you're somebody who has a lot of passion, a lot of lust for life. Like you're just like, let's go get it. Let's let's go after our dreams. You know, nothing should get in our way. I feel like you don't let things get in your way, pound number two. That's your superpower. Like you're very determined. You could be a Sagittarius too, because I feel like once you set your eyes on something like you keep your eyes on the prize like you keep your eyes on the goal even if you have some setbacks like you keep going until you reach your goal here like you have a lot of warrior like energy as well pound number two that's your that's why I feel like you're also protected too because of that warrior like energy pound number two you may have ancestors that are warriors you may have past loved ones that were veterans because they're coming through here with you <clears throat> but yeah I feel like you Fight for what you believe in, okay? Yeah. 
some of you, like I said, you have ancestors that have stood up to pe to authority. And I feel like kind of two, you stand up to authority as well. I feel like you don't just allow people in higher positions to treat you a certain way because they have that position. So I feel like one of your superpowers here is your bravery and your ability to stand up for yourself and others, okay? The next card that we have is Divine Awakening with this Cobra. So I feel like this really goes into like that meditation. So I feel like when you meditate, you awaken, you awaken yourself to so many different energies. You awaken yourself to energies that were already residing in you. I feel like you are learning and discovering more of who you are, power number two. And that's the superpower, this quest of self, of learning who you are and unlearning who you're not. The next card that we have is Virgo. So another one of your superpowers here is that you literally could be really good at like healing other people, like healing wounds, like you're really good at that. Like you may come from a family where there's like natural remedies. So for example, like if a baby has a diaper rash, like you have these remedies that help or if somebody has a pink eye, like you have a lot of remedies that you make at home and that's the superpower because you're passing it down in your family, okay? Or you're passing it down to just people you know, or you may even put this on social media, like ways to help people, you know, get rid of something, you know? in a in a way where they don't have to use antibiotics or use a lot of money okay I feel like you're very resourceful power number two very detail oriented you know that's the superpower oh we also have relationships so like I said somebody may be finding love here but a superpower here is that you draw in people who are equal to you because we have these two scales here these two scales one is on the top, one is on the bottom. And it says, do it with your partner. And it says in Libra. So some of you could be a Libra here. Some of you could be a Virgo, take what resonates. But also one of your superpowers is the way that you are, the way that you are in relationships. Like you really are a good catch. I feel like you are a great asset to anybody's life because you, you know how to connect with people. Like you know how to negotiate. You know how to compromise. You know how to sacrifice when you need to. Like and what I mean by sacrifice is if you need to like, okay, let me cancel this so that we can do this. That's what I mean by sacrifice. I'm not meaning sacrificing your happiness and the things for you. I'm just saying like, if you need to cancel something for another person, you would do it because you know that they're going to do it for you, okay? I feel like you've gotten a little bit more skilled at finding relationships that are suitable for you because part number two, I feel like you have this mature way of being that a lot of people in our generation cannot, really fathom because they're so used to toxicity and drama you know you are somebody who's looking for something real so you may sometimes feel like it's hard to connect with other people because you're looking for something that's genuine and not just surface level but I get that you're you know you're going to bring in those types of people this is giving me power number two for my other reading which is titled what are people noticing about you so you may resonate with that but it's given like you're bringing in your soul tribe you're bringing in people that are more connected to you here you know, with Libra, that balance, people that are going to be on your team for real, you know, not people that are emotionally unavailable or one-sided connections, because I feel like you've dealt with that so much, you know, but you have this, this warrior-like energy to keep going, even when you've gotten hurt, so I feel like even if you've gotten hurt by past friendships, um, partners, and even some family members, like, you're still, like, oh, you know what I'm hearing, oh my god, so there's um, a poem by Raina Biddy. It's actually untitled. And in the poem, at the end, she says, and some days I'm an angry woman. And some days I'm a crazy woman for still waiting, for still loving harder even when I'm aching, for still trusting that I'm still worth the most, for still searching, for someone to understand me better. So those were her words, not mine, and she is actually a Gemini. So I think we have the Gemini card, so you may be a Gemini here too. You may be a poet here, okay? And I feel like you may, even if you don't write poetry, you speak poetically and it's how you manifest, okay? That's a superpower. Poetry, okay? But some of you just may write poetry here and that's a superpower because of how you can release things and even manifest if you want. 
But back to this Libra energy, I feel like your superpower is bringing in true love, bringing in love that will last people that do not play about you. Okay. The next superpower we have, oh, the sun, the sun. So you have a very warm energy. Like I said, you're the life of the party, okay? You you come around, like your energy pile number two is like, if you're around people and it's like, it feels like their life is just going downhill and it's just raining and it's thunder. And it's like, when you come around, it's like the thunder goes away, the rain goes away, the flowers are blooming, it smells good. There's freshly baked cookies, the sun is shining, people are going to swim, people are barbecuing. Like you have that type of energy that's so refreshing. So refreshing, okay? And that's your superpower here. And I feel like power number two is just, sometimes you may feel like, you're always there for people, but people are never there for you. But I want you to know that the more that you visualize the types of people you want in your life, the more you're going to see reflections of those kinds of people. So just know how powerful you are with your manifestation. You can manifest good people, okay? And while we may not be able to control how people respond and how they react, just know that you can control who you allow into your life, okay? That's the message, all right? The next card that we have is Scorpio, okay? And then we have Aquarius. So also pile number two, you have really good discernment, okay? With the Scorpio energy, you have really good discernment. And I feel like you're mastering detachment with this Aquarius card coming out. So you may be an Aquarius. We have all air signs here. So we have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So somebody is an air sign. We have the fire spirit. So we could have some fire signs. And then we have Virgo and Scorpio. So we have some water and earth. Take what resonates. You can see the deception in other people. Okay? You can see it. With this Aquarius energy, you, you're detached because you take your time getting to know people here. That's the superpower, being detached. I feel like our society makes it seem like being detached is bad, but I feel like you're doing it in a healthy way. If you just meet somebody, you're not going to tell them everything about you because you know that I have to have this level of detachment because I don't know you like that. Like, you, you know people by their fruit. You have to test people. And I'm not saying test them like make a petty test, but really get to see how they treat other people because it's going to be how they treat you. For example, if you're around people who gossip about other people, guess what? They're going to gossip about you too. Like, nothing is different. I feel like you've gotten better at spotting these types of people because I feel like you attracted a lot of these types of people in the past just because you you wanted love and you were a little bit you know maybe desperate for it just because of not getting something you needed you know in your childhood because a lot of things stem from our childhood believe it or not you know childhood teenage years you know all of that and it's like you've learned so much power number two you've learned so much and I'm proud of you okay I'm proud of you because it takes a lot to understand how people move because sometimes you will learn a lesson and then keep getting taught that same lesson because you don't want to see the you know you don't want to see the duality in people but I feel like you're you've learned to see that within people that people have darkness and light we can't just see the light in people they're also darkness they also have that so we have to see both sides and I feel like you've learned that power number two so your superpower here is your healthy detachment not allowing people to get close to you. You're really good at protecting your energy power number two. Whether you know it or not, you're very good at that. We also have fixed signs here. Scorpio is a fixed sign. Um, Soul, which is the sun, which is Leo. That's a fixed sign. Aquarius is a fixed sign. So you're very loyal here. One of your superpowers is your loyalty, your faith. You have a faith in God, but you also have loyalty for people you love. And with fixed energy, you know, if you're dealing with a fixed sign, it's hard to change their mind about something. You know, once they're, they think something, that's how they feel. And, and I feel like that's how it is. When you love somebody, you love them. Nothing can change that. Nothing can mess that up but that person, okay? Nothing anybody says or anybody does. It's, it's all up to how that person is behaving, you know? You have really strong protective energy I feel like you go to war for people you love here that's a superpower because people know you're going to stick up for them you know you you're that person pound number two I feel like you stuck up for people a lot like you are not going to sit there and just be the bystander you're like no that's not right 
you know, you call people out and shit. And that's the superpower in itself because a lot of people just allow toxicity to just keep going and going and going. And they know it's wrong, but they don't say nothing about it. And I feel like you're that type of person, pound number two, that's like, why the fuck are y'all not? Come on now, common sense. <laughs> like, I feel like pound number two, you just, you get really like perplexed by people like that. Like, why are you just letting something happen if you don't like it? So you, you speak up, you know, you you make waves, you ruffle feathers, pound number two, that's your superpower, you're giving me an Aries energy, okay, the next card that we have is the devil card, but it's in reverse, okay, so we know when this is in reverse, it's like going towards the light, resisting temptation, so yes, with that warrior energy, even though you have wounds, even though people have hurt you, I feel like you've never allows yourself to just start treating other people that way so one of your superpowers is the ability to stay in your light energy even when you're being tempted to get out of character when you're being tempted to prove yourself or defend yourself I feel like you're getting better at not responding to petty energy from other people here that's a superpower this is something you're cultivating because it's aiding in your mental health and your growth because you're no longer allowing other people's petty energy and their traumas to be a reflection of you because it's not okay like I agree with I listen to a certain extent I agree with the whole people are a reflection of you I agree because you know some people show shadow aspects of ourselves but other times some people are just terrible people and and they're not a reflection of you okay so understand that. And I actually got that from a quote. I don't know who said it, but it was like this spiritual person. And I agree with them. They said, I let's stop with the spiritual gaslighting. Everybody is not a reflection of you. Some people are horrible. And I agree. So pal number two, you may have struggled with that for a long time. Like, why am I meeting these types of people? Like, you have to understand, like, with this sun energy here, you're a light. Just like light attracts light, it's going to attract darkness. When you go outside and you see a street light, pile number two, what do you see? Bugs around it. So the same thing happens when you are a light, you know, spiritually. You have that people trying to come around and taint it. So your superpower here is the way you've been able to guard yourself regardless of people trying to tempt you to react I feel like people have tried to bait you to react pile number two because you are so nonchalant but it's not working <laughs> okay the next card that we have is the three of pentacles in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse so again your discernment this is really giving pile number two from the other reading what are people noticing about you because I feel like you you know who to pour into and who not to pour into. I feel like your discernment helps you. So if you're navigating in a business area, you know who to do business with and who not to do business with, okay? So you you having this discernment also helps you tune into what people like. So for example, if you're a real estate person, you you have intuition. So you can tell when a, what a person likes just by what they're, what they're looking at, the facial expression they make, or you can tell by people's energy, oh, I think you would like this type of house. And then they actually like it. Like you're really tapped in more than you know. And it's because you meditate so often without realizing it, pound number two. And even if you do meditate and you do realize it, it's just your intuition becomes even more profound, okay? It becomes even more potent because you're taking care of yourself spiritually, whether you realize it or not. And take what resonates because some of you, I feel like you meditate often, whereas others of you may not realize you're meditating, okay? So take what resonates. Oh, I feel like what's coming through is multitasking. Some people don't think multitasking is real, but it is. I feel like you, your superpower is that you have different, you have a lot of different things you're good at. You're a jack of all trades here, okay? You might be good at fixing cars, fixing toilets, but also really good at doing hair, but doing makeup. You know, like you have different <laughs> things that you're good at here, okay? Poetry, you know? Some of you may also like business, um, business arenas, you know? You may want to, some of you may want to be a lawyer, okay? Because you care about balance, right? But yeah, like I feel like you you've learned who to pour into from these past connections. And I feel like you're still healing from them, but you're bringing in better people. OK, pound number two, like I know it's hurtful, but just know like people who act weird and funny with you and that are deceptive. That is never about you. Ever. 
Yes, like you, pattern number two, I feel like you are a bullshit detector. You know when somebody is playing in your face. And I feel like other people know too. That's probably why certain people stay away from you, pattern number two, because they know that you can see them for who they are. Like you see right through people, pattern number two. Like your discernment is very, your intuition is very important, okay? So always listen to that. When you get the slightest little inkling that somebody's weird by something that they say or do, trust it. Because I'm that type of person where, I can pick up on how somebody feels about me based on what they said to me and how they said it. Even if they didn't vocalize to me, it could be a YouTube comment. And I know like, mm, this person doesn't really like me. You know, you can feel that energy. So power number two, one of your superpowers here is your intuition, your discernment, okay? Heavy on the discernment. Spirit is showing me that for you. The next card we have is two of pinnacles, balance. As I was saying, like, you strive for balance. You strive for fairness. So that's the superpower here, that you're fair, that you're just, <laughs> because we live in a world that is unfair. So to still be fair, to try to do things right is amazing. So good job, pound number two. Thank you for doing good shit for humanity. <laughs> we also have the three of cups here. So you're, you know, you're the life of the party. People like to have fun with you. Like you're somebody like if you go out for drinks, pound number two, you are so funny. Like you're so chill. Like you're not the type of person that's trying to start mess and drama. Like you are so fucking chill. <laughs> like I want to hang with you, pound number two. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, you know, it's like you have this really vibey energy. You're just chill as fuck. And I feel like even if people try to find something about you they don't like, it's hard for them because you're chill, you're respectful, you're kind, you're funny. You you make people laugh that don't even like you because you you know you have that goofy energy here, okay? Being that life of the party, like the way you make people laugh, that's medicine pound number two. So even if people try to be like, you're extra, you're doing too much, like the way you make people laugh, like continue to make people laugh, continue to put a smile on people's face. Like I said, you're that sun, you brighten up the darkness, okay? That's your superpower. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands. So every time I see this card, it reminds me of like two things, okay? <laughs> um, somebody with a magic wand and then a shaft. You know what I mean by a shaft. I'm not going to say it. My men, like the men here know. The men that are watching this, you know. Well, my ladies that are watching, you know what I'm talking about. And even if you're non-binary, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The phallus, right? So with this Ace of Wands being here... I'm getting two messages. So one of your superpowers here is that you can manifest things, you know? It's given like, so somebody made like Disney princesses here because that's what I got, like a fairy godmother type of energy. So yeah, with you being very protective over people, you do have that fairy godmother um, energy, fairy godfather, if you're non-binary, just that fairy pixie type of energy, okay? Where you just sprinkle and dazzle love and happiness and into, into the lives of other people like you help people get excited you know you you come around and you you make people feel alive pound number two but also you're very seductive okay one of your superpowers is that you're seductive okay you pound number two I feel like it's just you like you may put people on hard or just go around people in your energy the way you talk you may be flirtatious without realizing it okay pound number two but it's just your energy the way you speak the way you carry yourself you just turn people on you're very hard working I feel like also this fierceness that you have this feistiness is attractive okay but it's your superpower here you are seductive okay <laughs> You should maybe read this book called The Art of the, the Art of Seduction. You might really like that, okay? So the next few cards that we have is opportunity. So this goes back to manifestation. You know how to bring things into fruition by just simply what you say. I feel like you move with intention. You are so intentional about the things in your life, and that's the superpower, to do things with intention, because a lot of people do things and just do it and they don't think that, oh, I can add an intention to this. So you're very intentional about so much in your life. You're very intentional with your health. You're very intentional with who you sleep with. You're very intentional with what you consume. And not just food, but like the media, music, advice, you know, energies. You know, you're very conscious here. And that's a superpower. With this enlightenment card, you know, you're very conscious. Like I was saying, your superpower is like, you 
can tune into like higher realms and receive divine information and wisdom with that Gemini energy, you may be really good at channeling things. So kind of like pound number one, you may say things to people that they need to hear at the right time, okay? And that's a superpower. The next card we have is stillness, okay? So how number two, you just, you just take your time with stuff, you know? It's kind of giving that story of like, I always hear it, but it's the story of like the tortoise and the hare, you know, the tortoise, you know, turtles take a long time, you know, to get somewhere, whereas a bunny can hop very fast, a hare can hop very fast. And in the story, the turtle ended up winning because it kept going, whereas the hare kept on stopping and feeling like, well, I'm gonna beat you anyway, because I'm faster, you know, and got comfortable. <laughs> and I feel like pound number two, you're somebody who keeps going, even if you take those baby steps, okay? Some of you may be late bloomers here, but it's okay, because that in itself, you know, was meant for you, because you have a different path than other people, pound number two. And even though it can feel, you know, it can feel like, man, when is it going to be my turn? You know, pound number two, just stay patient with this stillness card, like, meditate you know more meditate on it get clear on what you want because you can manifest pound number two so if you're if you're complaining about oh when is it gonna be my turn manifest it <laughs> manifest it I know you have been a late bloomer to certain things and take what resonates because some of you may not be late bloomers but for those of you who are just get clear on what you want because I feel like pound number two you have some limiting beliefs that you have to uncover know that you're deserving of so much more OK, you're deserving of a beautiful relationship, a beautiful partner. You're worthy, OK? Just understand that. You're worthy of what you want. But that's your superpowers, pound number two. Heavy on your intuition, discernment, meditation. You're naturally meditative. I feel like you could also put people in meditative states. So pile number one, you know, you may resonate with pile number one because it's given that same type of energy. But overall, pile number two, I just want you to treat yourself with love, treat yourself with joy and kindness, okay? Because anything that you want out of a person, you have to start with self first. So if you want loving people, be a loving person to yourself, all right? And then that'll help you manifest it, all right? All right. So thank you, pound number two. Please let me know how you felt about this reading. And thank you for your support. Mwah. So pile number three, what are your superpowers? Okay. Oh, pile number two, I am so sorry. <laughs> Let's go back. I'm sorry, pile number two. We didn't look at the channel messages. So Let's look at the channel messages. Okay, never mind pound number two because everything I've said we're already here. So some more channel messages is that you are a social butterfly. Um, you're really good at you're really good with people when you have great comebacks if you're dealing with petty people, fake or phony people. Um, you have some boundaries. That's a superpower, your boundaries. That's why I was getting that you're protected because I can feel that from your energy that you are somebody who is protected and you may actually do protection work, okay? We already talked about the fixed sign energy being very loyal and committed. We also talked about making vision boards and getting clear on your vision here. But yeah, those are the channel messages. So now we can officially move to pound number three. All right, pound number three. So now we're... Finally, on your pile, <laughs> sorry about that, um, your superpowers are your sweetness, literally. Your kind heart is your superpower. You are very generous, you are very compassionate and mystical. You may be deeply into spirituality or you have a close connection with the higher realm. You also sing very beautifully here, and your voice has the ability to soften even the hardest hearts. You radiate so much love that you turn your haters into lovers. So yeah, pound number three. I feel like pound number three, you are somebody who, you don't have to do anything. I feel like, like pound number two, you're protected, but your ancestors will slide for you. 
your ancestors and your spiritual team, like they will deliver people's karma to them. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to make a status. You don't have to fight the person. You don't have to confront them. All you have to do is just move on in love, okay? And know that what they're doing and how they're acting is not about you. So this time I'll make sure <laughs> to get to those channel messages at the end before we finish this reading. So let's get into your cards, pound number three. What are your superpowers? So the first card we have is Venus. Okay, so you already know your beauty. Your beauty is one of your superpowers. You're very beautiful, but you're beautiful inside and out. So that is a superpower, okay? The way you love on people. Your love is like agape in a way because it's like a, a brotherly love, a universal love that you give to everybody, okay? With this Neptune energy, you know, one of your superpowers here is compassion. You know, you, you may have some psychic abilities because we have Pisces and Neptune rules Pisces here. So you may be a Pisces here or with this Venus card, you could be a Taurus or Libra. Take what resonates. But yeah, it's like you have this spiritual insight and that's a superpower. In this Pisces picture, she's smelling this flower. So I feel like you're somebody who's just, you remind me of like this beautiful, how number three, um, regardless of your gender identity here, you remind me of this like beautiful fairy. This beautiful, mystical, like a fairy type of energy because I'm getting like, <clears throat> I'm getting like cottage core vibes. Somebody that likes to be in nature, somebody that really appreciates nature. So power number three, one of your superpowers is your ability to connect with nature. Like nature heals you. You can ground yourself in nature here. I feel like you stop and literally smell the roses often or just smell flowers here. You may have flower tattoos here um, or water tattoos, take what resonates. Somebody likes seahorses or seashells. Or somebody may collect seashells or have them like lined in their windowsill. Or you may have on a seashell necklace. Take what resonates, okay? Because somebody's connected to water. So one of your superpowers is that you connect to water. You know what I'm getting pound number three from like Stranger Things? It's like, remember when Eleven like would get in the water and she could like go to other places? I feel like you may be able to do something similar, you know, like astral project. If you don't know what that is, really research it and look it up before you do something like that. But with astral projection, it's like you, your ability to like travel to different timelines here. You may do this in your dreams. You may lucid dream, okay? And, and you may actually really remember this, okay? So take what resonates. But those are your superpowers. Like you do a lot in your dream world, okay? You may really like your dreams here. You may need to get a dream journal, pile number three, because I know I do, trust me, <laughs> having really strange dreams. But I feel like your dream world is very vivid and beautiful though. Okay, let's look at the other cards. So pile number three, what's your superpower? So the next card we have is the scarab and it says spiritual transformation. So you may have a scarab beetle tattoo, take what resonates. Um, you may also really um, be into like zoology and um, insects. So take what resonates. Again, that's a superpower of being connected to nature. But also with the spiritual transformation, I feel like one of your superpowers is you literally turn your haters into lovers. So I feel like because you're a loving person and you're positive and you may even have a little bit of a bubbly energy, but if not, I feel like some of you are introverted. But even then, you being introverted, you can still see that kindness in you. And I feel like certain people, you know, get turned off by that, not because there's something wrong with it, but because they are uncomfortable with that part of themselves. So a lot of times when people are uncomfortable with parts of themselves and they see somebody expressing it freely and confidently, they get triggered and they try to project and try to bring you down because they don't want to face that part of themselves. And I feel like you've dealt with a lot of that, but in a way it's kind of like, I feel like you laugh it off pound number three, because I feel like you, you know that it's not me, it's you. You know, you understand that it's the other person. I feel like you daydream a lot, too. I don't really feel like you give a fuck what people think and say because you're in your own world, pal number three. You're literally in your own world. So you're like, what? I don't really care. You know, you have that understanding. But yeah, you do turn your haters into lovers. So you may not 
address the fact that you can sing pound number three, but you have a very beautiful voice here, a very mermaid siren like voice. Take what resonates because you kind of remind me of Holly, Holly Bailey and she is an Aries. So you may be an Aries. OK. But yeah, I feel like when your haters hear you sing, <laughs> you you change some things <laughs> in them or just hearing you speak. OK, because I feel like you speak about compassion and love. You may talk a lot about compassion and self-love and you inspire them. OK. The next card that we have is the Akashic Records. So similar to pound number one, I feel like these superpowers that you possess could come from past lives. So maybe in a past life, you were like a singer, you know, or an entertainer, you know, or some of you could have been like medicine men, medicine women in your past life or witch doctors. OK, take what resonates. But that's your superpower, like being able to tap into different energies, because the Akashic Records is basically like this library of like all the lives you had so I feel like you can tap back into like those energies you know you don't even realize it but I feel like you may do it in your dreams like go to different places and, and connect with like different lives without even realizing it because it's really giving power number one like with the past life regression okay so you may be interested in that take what resonates or you may be watching stuff about that or trying to do like past life guided meditations I feel like you have your crown chakra open your crown chakra is open so you receive information mm -hmm. yeah because in these cards it's like a light above people's heads yeah that as well we also have joy and pleasure with the goddess Bastet so we have two sixes here because 33 on the scarab card, it says 33. So three plus three is six. And then we have six. So six represents harmony and love. Literally you, pal number three, your superpower is love. Your superpower is your love bringing things into harmony for yourself and others. We also have some cats here. So you may like cats, pal number three. You may have a cat tattoo. Um, you may really just like cats here. <laughs> I'm getting that. You may have two cats. Because there's a black cat here and then there's this orange golden cat, kind of like Garfield. Take where it resonates. And then there's the, there's initials on this card. So MK. MK may be your initials here. Okay. But take what resonates. And we actually have in this picture like a, a musical instrument. So yeah, people can in this pile can really sing. They just hide it. Because maybe in the past, like, you know, you were ostracized for that, or it could have just been like you grew up in a past life where women were because there's a lot of feminine energy in this pile so you may be a man here but I'm getting that there are a lot of women watching this pile okay so you may have had a past life where you were condemned for speaking or you know singing so you may be scared to show people you can sing pound number three but you need to put yourself out there more okay <laughs> show people your voice show people your music okay so with these two cards here we have the five of wands and the five of cups so I feel like this is about I, this reading is supposed to be about what are your superpowers, but I feel like other people's energy is coming in. So let's talk about that. Power number three, I feel like these are the people that, this is the cycle that people go through. Because one minute people are trying to compete with you in this five of wands because, you know, you're in your own world. You're doing your own thing. You're spreading love. People love you. You know, you have a good reputation. So you have people who who want to be seen that same way, who try to tear you down. And what I've noticed is sometimes people try to get in competition with you because they want to get clout off your name. So if they have a problem with you, that's people are giving them attention too because they're connected to you in some way. But I feel like you don't really pay attention to that. I feel like you pay people dust. I feel like you ignore people very well to the point where you're like, they don't exist. And that's the superpower of power number three. Like you know that where your focus goes, your energy flows. So you're focusing on positivity. But yeah, they go from with the five of wands competing with you to five of cups, people feeling ashamed. And we have this Pluto energy with this five of cups because it's literally the Pluto symbol. So it's like you transform people. Your love transforms people because your voice is, it has love in it. You can hear the love as you speak. You can hear the love when you sing pound number three, okay? And I feel like you make people feel guilty like you help bring people towards the light that's your superpower you help bring people towards the light and then these people they start to feel guilty for what they did because I feel like you oh my goodness pound number three you have the ability to clear visions and what I mean by that so for example let me give you an analogy here 
So let's say that somebody has on glasses and the glasses are murky. Like they can see people, but they can't see, see. They can't really see. It's like you, you, what you do is like you take people's glasses off of them. You clean them off real good. You, re you replace the lenses and then you hand them back to them and then they see things clear and then they start to realize like, wow, I was wrong for coming at this person like that. Like I was wrong for projecting. Like you help people see where they're wrong. I feel like power number three, Three, you also help people learn accountability. You help people learn how to own up to their mistakes. You know, your love helps people learn how to love. You know, I feel like you're a prime example of what it means to be a loving person, okay? I feel like you you have a lot of love here. And even if people try to take advantage of you, I also get that too, pound number three. You may have dealt with people who have taken advantage of you, but it's like they feel guilty, because your your loving energy, you know, some people want literally want to be seen like that. You may be like, how? How are people jealous of me being a sweet person? People can be because people want to control how they're perceived. So if they see somebody being perceived as they would want to be perceived, they try to come for you. It's kind of like some people just never grow out of that childlike mind of, well, if they have it, I have to have it. You know how little kids get when they see another kid have something and they throw a fit? Adults sometimes don't grow out of that. So pound number three, kudos to you for not letting people like this get to you because from personal experience, dealing with people like this is so obnoxious. It's so annoying. <laughs> but the way you handle it gracefully is, you know, that's your superpower. Ignoring people, ignoring the haters. Because pound number three, I feel like you're meant to live this beautiful, soft life. You may be in your soft girl era, your soft boy era. If you're non-binary, you're just in your soft element, your soft energy in life where you're just chilling. <laughs> you're eating fruit. You know, you're sitting outside. You're chilling, like. You're enjoying yourself here, okay? And that's a superpower to be able to just relax. You relax people with your energy power number three. With the ace of swords in reverse, it's like you change, you know, people's minds about you. They may have seen you one way, but then they end up seeing you another way. Like I said, you you really have that power, honey. You turn haters into lovers. And some of these people that had a problem with you, I feel like they had a problem with you because of a group. You know, you help people see like, mm, maybe I shouldn't be following the group. Maybe I shouldn't be close to these kind of people. Like, pile number three, I feel like you don't even have to do anything. It's just how you carry yourself. Like you help people have deep realizations. You send people into spiritual awakenings to where they transform and become better. Okay. That's your superpower. You help people become better without even doing anything. Okay. Just your love itself is doing the work. Okay, pound number three. So the next couple of cards that we have is fulfillment. So you do things that make you happy. That's your superpower. With fulfillment, it's like, oh, and I did say eating fruit. I said something about you eating fruit. This card is literally like a peach. So you are so cute. Um, you're so cute with this peach. Like this peachy energy is like peaches. You know how people say, oh, things are peachy, like that beautiful energy. So again, your superpower here is your energy. That peachy energy. <laughs> that beautiful personality, okay? That soft, gentle. Yes, power number three. Your superpower is your gentleness because your energy is so gentle. It's so gentle, okay? But I do feel like you have another side to you, power number three. Like you're gentle, but I do feel like you know how to stand up for yourself. And I feel like that's something that people don't expect from you. Because you're so loving and because you're so kind, I feel like this is a superpower. You know, your ability to clearly communicate things, your ability to handle conflict, you know, that's a superpower. Your maturity is a superpower. Like you're sweet, you're bubbly. You know, but you also have maturity. You also have emotional intelligence. You also have an understanding of what's right and what's wrong with this queen of swords energy. A superpower that you have is, I feel like people be thinking that if they didn't got over on you, but you always are, are 10 steps ahead of people. So I feel like you, you have some psychic abilities, pound number three, like you may have premonitions about people or you can just tell that something is going to happen before it happens. And that's a superpower. And I feel like it protects you from the wrong people because you could just look at somebody and see like, this connection will not end right. You know, you know. 
the next card that we have is the seven of swords and the six of pentacles so i feel like people think that they can get things out of you but it's like with this queen of swords it's like you you already are aware of everything that's happening even when you're in your own world even when you're in your own world with the pisces energy it's like you can still sense that deception, kind of like pound number two. And lately I've been noticing that my reading, my readings have been flowing like a collective reading. So you may, pound number three, you may resonate with all piles, like I said in the last reading. So just take what resonates here, okay? But a superpower here with the six of pentacles is that you're very giving. You're very generous with your love. Your love is a superpower, but you give to people in times of need. You may donate things. You know, you may buy people things here. You may go and support people. Like you give in so many different ways. Even if you're not giving somebody something tangible, you give good energy, you give good vibes, you give good love, you give good advice, you give you give good all the way. Like you're not having ulterior motives with people, you know? You're giving with the clean heart, pound number three, okay? And I feel like because you're so calm, people can try to assume that, oh, you must be a deceptive person. And that's not the case. I think a lot of people just feel that kind people are just too good to be true. So they'll think that you're deceptive, but I don't really feel like you are. I feel like you, you've you learned to guard yourself against deception. But at the same time, pound number three, it's your ancestors got you. Your spiritual team got you. You know, your prayers are very powerful, pound number three. Okay. The way you pray, it's very powerful. Okay, that's a superpower. So pray when you need something or when you when you feel like you need protection, like don't be afraid to ask spirit for that. You don't have to sit around people who make you feel weird vibes or feel uncomfortable, pound number three, okay? The next card that we have is healing chaos. Oh, and we also have miracles. So pile number three, one of your superpowers here is that you're a blessing. With this miracles card, you're literally a blessing, okay? Like, You bring blessings into the lives of others, like your sweet energy. And I feel like these blessings could be things you give people. You know, your love is a blessing. The gift you bought them is a blessing because they really needed that. You know, the kind words you said were a blessing because they needed to hear that. They needed to be soaked in beautiful energy. I feel like part number three, one of your superpowers is that your energy is just so cleansing. That's why certain people can get triggered because some people want to stay spiritually dirty. Some people don't want to face themselves because they're comfortable hiding. And I feel like because your energy is so cleansing, it exposes the fakeness here. So if you ever kind of three wonder, like, why do I deal with people who cool with me and then they start acting weird? That is why. So please, 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 please don't take it personal, okay? All light beings go through this. It's just learning that it's not about us, okay? Going back to the healing chaos card, like I said, you turn your lovers into haters. That is reiterated here. Your love has the ability to transform and soften. Your ability, your ability to soften, yeah, your ability to soften even the hardest hearts is your superpower. I was reading it. I was reading it wrong. But yeah, with it's a lot of butterflies on this card too. And, and then we have the spiritual transformation card. Like you help bring people to this transformation. Like power number three, you give off like this energy of like a goddess or a god here. Take what resonates. Even if you're not binary, you just have a deity, a deity type of energy, okay? take what resonates the next card we have is jupiter so one of your superpowers here is your optimism you may be a little bit idealistic pound number three but we need that it's like you envision this beautiful world you have a lot of optimism so even when things go wrong you still feel like you know what it's okay i'm gonna keep going like you have this faith and this connection to spirit and that is why you get blessings, you know, because Jupiter deals with blessings. You know, you bring blessings to other people, but you also are a blessed individual. And that's your superpower. So the next card we have is in the first house. And the first house is Aries. So like I said, somebody is an Aries. Take what resonates. And this card is about who we are, our desires, and our actions. So your superpower is literally you. You. <laughs> your existence is a superpower, okay? Just you, pound number three. You're a miracle. Like, people need to meet people like you because you're rare. You're one of one here, okay? The next card that we have is the North Node. So the North Node is opposite from the South Node because it's our destiny. It's what 
we must go to in this lifetime. It's what we're striving for. So your superpower here is that you're changing the world for the better. You're in your mission. You're doing what you're here to do. And it's to love. You may feel like that's a simple a simple mission, but it's a very complex one, you know, because as a loving person, you go through times where you want to take back your love, but then you also want to give your love. So it's just finding that balance, power number three. But don't get rid of that part of yourself because it's a part of your North Node. You know, it's a part of you coming into this world in the first place to spread that love, okay? But yeah, power number three, that is your superpowers, you know? You soften people, <laughs> you know? I feel like you get rid of your enemies just through love. Like, love is such a powerful thing. So don't allow people to tell you that you're too sensitive, you're too emotional, none of that, because you're beautiful, power number three. The way you love is so beautiful, okay? But that was your reading. Thank you so much. Let's get into those channel messages before I forget, like I did last time with power number two. So power number three, let's see. Oh, earth angels. Yes, you have this energy. Um, you relax people. And there's something about sunflowers that keeps coming up. So you may like sunflowers. You may have a sunflower tattoo, any of that. Oh, you may also have road rage, <laughs> number three. Because that, that was a general message. We also have health comes from your love. So your health, believe it or not, pound number three, your health, like your physical health, literally comes from your love. So when you love yourself, you're going to have really good health. When your health starts to decline, start noticing if you're giving yourself love, okay? Because your love is the key to your health here, okay? Your love is your vitality, power number three, and that's your superpower, okay? We do have some uh, music here. We have Solar Plexus, my, um, a musical group of two beautiful women named Oshun. We also have Cleo Soul, When I'm in Your Arms, and FKJ, Just Piano. There's also a show that I channeled. It's called The Good Witch. If you've seen that show, I think it's still on Tubi. I don't know where you can find it because I haven't seen the show in a long time, but I remember when I watched it, she was just so graceful in dealing with fake people. And I feel like that's you, pound number three. That is a gift. Don't ever underestimate it. You're not being fake, by being graceful with people. Just know that that's on them if they want to be fake. The way that they see you and perceive you, it's on them. It's not a reflection of you, okay? Thank you, pound number three. Thank you so much. And I just want to give a big thank you to all my flower babies for the 1K. <laughs> thank you so much. Like it took me a long time to get here. When I was 17 years old, okay, I wrote down in a journal that I wanted to go viral on YouTube and it happened six years later. So thank you so much to all the people who stay in 10 toes down for me, all the people who don't have hidden agendas. Like you really come here because you really vibe with me. Thank you so much. Mwah. And there's more beautiful readings to come.